James Melendez. Welcome to the tasting table. This wine glass is going to be reviewed next. This is a Riedel Restaurant Bordeaux wine glass. Stay tuned. I'll give my thoughts, perspectives, and point score on this glass. Stay tuned. I think this is a really nice glass. So let me just show you up close. This is a Riedel restaurant wine glass and it's a big format and you're gonna see the word solo on here. I got this at Silverado and I thought for $10, that's a you know good price point. Maybe it's 10, maybe it's $12, but it was a very inexpensive price point. I thought, how will this perform? And uh, you know maybe I should have bought more. And uh, so tasting from this wine glass, I do have a competitor. So this is Schottenzweisel. This is a Bordeaux glass. It doesn't have any name to this glass itself. I've looked for this glass again. And so I'll talk about this in its own review. And I did a comparison here. I thought these might be very similar in terms of their performance, but they're different. This is actually a very well-performing wine glass. And, um, you know, first of all, the architecture of this, the design is fantastic. Look at that. The, the footing on that is uh, very large. The Riedel restaurant is a nice, handsome, beautiful footprint. And one where I love to see that on wine glass, especially on a table. So imagine six of these and how that looks compared to a diminutive glass, which is the uh, Schatz Weissel glass. So to me, I think this just does a remarkable job. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. And I know a lot of people are not for this wine glass. They don't find anything um, redeeming. So this is, you know, I could say this is similar to the uh, Riedel Somm uh, Bordeaux glass, which I don't have. I broke that glass and I'll be getting that uh, hopefully soon. Uh, this class itself is a nice format, and I know there's a lot of people who talk, um, I would say negatively about this uh, silhouette or uh, size of the silhouette, but I think it performs really well. And so for 10 and 12 dollars, it's actually probably my least expensive high quality glass that I use routinely. And if it breaks, I would be not so sad, though I would be kind of sad, right? Because how often do you get a high quality glass for 10 and $12? Well, these days, not at all. So, you know, I definitely review this because, you know, there are still restaurant uh, Riedel glasses out there. You can buy them in restaurant supply, right? So that's why I'm doing this review because I do know people who buy from restaurant supply for their own personal homes. So I don't obviously like that it has Solo on there, right? I would prefer that not being there. This is a, I think it's a really well-performing glass. It's a nice design and it performs well in terms of this larger bowl silhouette. So you'll see these side by side. This is a much smaller, thinner uh, silhouette compared to this, it's a little more expansive. So in this glass itself, you're gonna have more uh, ability to fit more wine in here. Not that you're going to put more wine, but you will have a somewhat of a similar surface area, but this is again a much uh, larger format. So the surface area in this is gonna be much larger and that does affect the taste. So I use the same French Syrah on both these glasses. Uh, I would just really wanted to, you know, compare these together. Uh, same vintage, same producer, same variety, same cuvee, etc. And so I think this is a, a very nice wine glass. So let me give you some characteristic notes on this glass. And they do differ um, in terms of how these do perform. So that 80% is really being informed in terms of how we respond in terms of the smell of the wine and uh, how that's going to express itself in terms of the palate. The other 20% that will be informed from that palate experience itself. And so the notification there is that while we may see similarities in wine glasses, they don't all perform the same. And that's why I'm doing these reviews. And I think this is an important glass. So a very nice expansive red and black fruit characterization, clove, pepper, freshly sanded cedar, uh, fresh rose petals, as well as a Tomla herb garden. And next is a palate characterization. Vibrant and lively acidity to this wine. Red and black fruit notes, dried herbs, baking spices, violets, and uh, I think it's a, and of course, a bit of minerality on the finish. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Gorgeous performance on this wine glass. So this wine glass is 95 points out of 100 points. So in the moment, I was still only thinking of buying a wine glass. I should have bought, you know, four uh, or six of these wine glasses because I think the performance is outstanding. The price point is outstanding. It's a nice performing wine glass. So, and you could probably seek out by doing a keyword search of uh, Riedel restaurant to find these wine glasses as well. They're not gonna be at this price point. They're gonna be much higher. And so I didn't get this that long ago, maybe half a decade ago, but I do sense the price points are gonna be much higher. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel. You see more wine glass reviews, more wine reviews as well. 
And uh, you'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. I will see you very soon. Sante.